Hi guys, um, I've just got back in from the cinema. I uh, just finished watching uh, The Last Jedi. I nearly called it The Force Awakens then. Uh, but no, I just got back in from watching The Last Jedi. And uh, I figured I'd, I've collected my thoughts and I figured I'd tell you what I thought of the film. Well, it was okay. It, 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 it was okay. Uh, that's not to say it was great, because it wasn't, um, but it wasn't bad either, it wasn't... It, to me, if you would put these, ask me, is this better than The Force Awakens? The answer is yes, this is better than The Force Awakens. Is it better than Rogue One? Hell no. Not, not, even, not even by a mile. Um, but it, it's got some good moments in the film. Um, and it's it's pretty to look at. It is pretty to look at, but they've threw enough money at that, so you know you should imagine even if it was shit, that it would uh, still look great anyway. Um, the, the the plot was divided up, and it felt like it, this movie felt like less of a solid story and more of a conglomeration of small stories, and all the cast was spread out. And it seemed like there were all these little moments that made scenes that end up getting stitched together to, to make the film. It didn't feel like one solid story right the way throughout. Um, you got the cast going on all these different sorts of, of missions. I'll try not to be too spoilery with this, by the way, as well. I don't want to spoil anything, because if anybody hasn't seen the film, I don't want to sort of uh, piss on the parade kind of thing. Um, I thought there were a lot of wasted moments in this film, a lot of wasted character moments, and a lot of, some, in some cases a lot of wasted characters. Um, <clears throat> I, I just, I wanted to like this film so much, but every single time I started to like it, it would cut, change scene, go to a different thing, and just ruin it. Um, well, not ruin it, but that's, that's a bit much, but, you know, every time I was getting built up, it was switching direction on me and then taking me back down again. And, and usually, any time that the movie was paying homage to the original Star Wars films, those were down moments. Those weren't big ups moments, they were down moments. Because what they would do is, uh, it's, it, it, it's something that I've seen done many a time before, and that's you reference what's gone before, and then at the end you swerve. Um, you, you just swerve the audience. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, but you can't do that for an entire film. And um, and they, they kind of did. And there was a there was a lot of jokey moments in this film where, where it felt like like nobody was taking it seriously. Like uh, and I don't mean the ca cast. I mean the characters weren't taking it seriously. And it led to the the my feeling that it felt like the or every all the planning and so on. It felt like people were just winging it throughout the film. You know, Snoke's plan was he was just winging it as he got there. See what happens. You know, Kylo Ren's plan, let's, he's just winging it to see what happens. You know, the Rebel Alliance, the, well, they're just winging it. Um, it works for one or two characters. It doesn't work for the... You want your villains and your heroes to be a little bit more competent. And, um... There were scenes in this film I, I didn't like. Um, I, I'm not going to give anything away, but I really... Uh, Finn has a storyline in this film and and I just didn't like it I just didn't I, it was like it was like as if they had nothing for him to do so it, rather than pair him with you know Poe or Ray um they they, they sent him off and give him this side story and you know if, if you're going to go to a cinema to watch a film you really don't want to be watching side stories along with the main plot with, with the main cast. You don't want that. You you want to see them. It, it felt odd to me. It felt forced. And uh, I want to like this film. I really genuinely want to like this film. But damn it, I can't do it. I, I, it's, I didn't, I didn't want to punch anybody when I left the cinema. But at the same time, uh, I just didn't have the same feeling when I walked out with Rogue One. When I walked out at the end of that film, I, I, I could have skipped across the car park. But um, but with this, it was just like, oh, that happened. Um, I mean, there's some 
brain dead decisions being made in this in this film, like by by the producers, like dividing up R two D two and C three PO again. Who that does divides up a, a double act? What sort of an idiot must you be to take a the the world's probably one of the world's most famous double acts in R two D two and C three PO and split them up? What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, Luke didn't really have that much to do in this film, but what he did have, again, this is probably the most badass you're going to see Luke, um, which is really, really nice. But there are other characters surrounding that, and what, with what happens to Luke as well, with all that going on. I just felt it was a bit shoehorned in and I don't feel like it was kind of necessary. Um, yeah. So other kind I mean I was surprised, here, here we go, I was surprised, okay, here's a good thing. I was surprised at how good and how much time Aid Edmondson had. Uh, because I knew he was in the film but I, I, I wasn't really expecting him to have as much on screen. And when you consider, you know, Aid Edmondson had more screen time than Phasma. You know, that, he, had, he, had a, he had a bit. He had a, he had a bit. In fact, he, had, he probably had more screen time than Snoke. Um, uh, so, and again, <laughs> what can I say about these characters? Wasted. Wasted characters. Um, so, plus sides of this film. Okay. Um, Plus sides, plus sides, plus sides. I'm thinking, alright, I'm thinking. Uh, okay, yeah, Luke, badass as hell. O awesome stuff. Like, proper awesome stuff. Um, Princess Leia's badass moment was kind of cheesy. Sorry, but it, it really was. Um, if you see the film, you know what the moment I'm on about. Um, Poe, I think Poe was uh, Poe is far better as a commander than most of the commanders because some of the decisions the commanders were making were were crap. Um, Hux, I I I don't I I don't know what to say about Hux. Um, I do, I don't know why it it's like they put the the cast of Monty Python in charge. It it's crazy. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's difficult to take the First Order as a credible threat. It's difficult to take the Rebels as anything other than a bunch of riffraff. Um, it, this movie did not do a good job of ta carrying on the, the Star Wars mantle. Um, it felt at times like the Star Wars cast was actually parodying Star Wars. Which was kind of odd because there were moments where they were actually parodying Spaceballs. I, 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 I don't know what to say about that. I genuinely don't know what to say about that. Um, so yeah, it's the the film itself is better than the Force Awakens for me. Even though I, you know, I, I hated the Force Awakens. So it, it, it that that was the bar that it had to beat was to be better than the Force Awakens. It was nowhere near as good as Rogue One. It's nowhere near as good as the originals. Um, it's. It's a mess of a film. It's scrappy. It's scruffy. There are things in there that don't need to be in there. Um, they, they, they've got to stop referencing the original films now. They have to stop it. They, they have to be their own thing. If they, these films can't stand up on their own, they can't stand up. Um, so they need to cut that shit out. Um, so overall, I give the film about a six out of ten. Um, it, again, it, it it's. It's not a bad film. There are chunks of this film that are, that are really enjoyable. Uh, there are moments in this film as well that, that are really like, that's a great moment. But that's the problem, is that that moment's great, but the rest of it's rubbish. That moment's great, but the rest of that's rubbish. That moment's great, but the rest of that... Uh, it, these these moments are tent in moments throughout the film. And they, they need to stop doing that and focus on making a really good story overall and have little temples here and there you know it's it's far better to have a, uh, a story that is like this throughout with these little temples than it is to have a story that's doing this all the time 
and that's what this movie felt like to me. One minute it was it was building up, ramping up, ramping up, and then getting cut off by the next scene. And then building up, building up, building up, and then getting cut off by the next scene. And um it 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 it, it was again it was just a slow slow build of a film and then anytime it got going it was getting cut off so Again, it's, it's better than The Force Awakens, that's all I can say. For me, it's better than The Force Awakens, better than the prequels. Not as good as the originals, not as good as Rogue One. Not as good as Rebels, and not as good as The Clone Wars. So, make it that what you will. 6 out of 10. Cheers.